And then I said, Bidoof. I don't think so. <gasps> oh god, it's Team Rocket! Quick! Go, Garage Band! I choose you! Use low production quality! Hmm, it was super effective. Now that was obviously just a bit of a joke on my part surrounding the ever popular franchise Pokemon. And for those of you who haven't been living in a dank and dark basement, you'll know that Diamond and Pearl, two of my favourite Pokemon games, some games that are very near and dear to my heart, are getting some remakes later this year, quite soon actually. And so today, I thought I'd do my usual thing and try use some sound effects from the Diamond and Pearl games and sort of remix them into a song using GarageBand on the iPad, which of course is the most technologically advanced software out there. So how about we just run through some of the sound effects I've got today. So to begin with, I've just taken a couple little samples from some of the songs in the game. These include things like the theme to Floroma Town, um, which is the town with all the flowers in, a theme from like Route 201 or Route 204 or something, this lovely violin kind of thing. I believe that's used in some of the caves, maybe. Then I've just got a couple little stabs from Snowpoint City that I think might come in useful. Just because they're individual notes, so they're easier to use. Then I've just got some, like, menu and item sounds. And now we get down to some of the Pokemon cries that I'm going to be using. Of course, I had to get Bidoof in there. Then Cricketune's pretty good. I've got Shinx. Then I believe this is Hippaldon. Uh, I think that little end bit here. Might be quite useful for like a hi-hat or something, I don't know. This is actually one of my favourite cries in the whole game, it's Snova. And then a few of the like move sound effects, the attack sound effects have been useful as well. There's a lot of sort of dr little drum samples in them. And then what I think is going to come in most useful is Sing. Because it's essentially just a couple notes that I can sample in. Perfect. So that's what I think I'm going to do first. I've got this sound effect sampled in and I'm going to try and make some chords out of it. Okay, now let's use the Snowpoint City sound. Okay, now I think I'm going to organise some Pokemon cries in time with the, the thing. Alright, we desperately need some drums in here because this is a bit of a mess at the moment. I think this is like one of the punching attacks, it's like Mac Punch or something. Now let's try that hip on thing I was talking about. Sounding good. And then put that with some actual hi-hats as well. It's not sounding terrible. Um, that sort of weird cave violin sound sounds all right. What am I thinking? The song sounding a little bit weird. Usually at this point, I'll, I've had the first section and the second section, and then I go for a breakdown, both emotionally and musically, and I think I'm going to do that again. So at the present time, I believe we are doing this. What if we go like... <laughs> it's a 
something like that. I want it to be really emotional, you know? People should be weeping at this part of the song. Sounds fine anyway. And now for the last section, I'm just going to copy everything over. I'll just do that. Uh, and then we'll finish it. I'll tell you what we'll finish it with. We've done it everyone, that only took like 5 million hours. I'm gonna go and sit in front of a fan for the rest of my life because it's too hot. I'll be playing the song after this, it's not the best song in the world but it's fine. And probably by the time that you're seeing this it might be up on Spotify along with a load of other songs that I've done. So I'll put the links to that in the description. Oh I need to come up with a name. Dialga's birthday party? <laughs> I can't think of anything better so without further ado, here's the song.